All right, as promised, here we go. Let's talk some baseball movies, shall we? And how much did your love of the movies influence your love of baseball? Um, you know, it, my love of baseball started first and foremost with my father, and then it kind of branched out from there. Uh, the first movie I could remember watching is The Bad News Bears. And I'm not talking about the one that just came out with Billy Bob Thornton. I'm talking about the one with Walter Matthau uh, as Buttermaker. Uh, that really, yeah. that solidified my love for the game of baseball. And how progressive was The Bad News Bears in the late 70s when you had Tatum O'Neill as their starting pitcher who was fanning boys left and right on the mound you couldn't get uh, any better than that and you had such the cast of characters in that movie whoever casted those kids as part of that ensemble uh, was truly amazing they did a tremendous job all around with that movie uh, it, some of the stuff doesn't play today and i understand that but it's still that classic baseball movie that continued my love affair with the game really sparked the interest in it did you say that was the very first movie you saw, baseball movie you saw? How old probably, were you? Probably, yeah, Bad News Bears. Uh, probably The Natural uh, sometime after that. Uh, the Natural, to me as a kid, I didn't really understand all the goings on and, you know, the gambling and the throwing of games. I, I didn't know what the heck was going on. All I was concerned with was Robert Redford hitting the light stanchions <laughs> and making them explode at the end of the movie. There's so many baseball movies that not only do I go back to, but they happen when I'm on the golf course with my friends. Just the lines that come from these movies. Uh, Major League is, is one of the biggest, by the way. You can't get into the first hole without me saying Euchre just a bit outside. Now, if you knew my slice, you know exactly why I'd say just a bit outside because I'm probably about three fairways over on the first tee box. Okay, that leads me right to my <laughs> because from the moment we met almost 20 years ago, we've been here forever. Oh, dang that, my God, it's been two decades. So I'm thinking back, and I'm thinking, gosh, this guy recites baseball movie quotes every 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's terrible, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's a way of life. I mean, I can't help it. it it's just the way... It all again, it all starts with my dad and the love of the game through him and, and my brothers with him. And then we watch the baseball movies and everything just kind of clicks in. And I got to tell you this quick story because Major League has to be one of my top movies. And this is my list. I, you could, anybody watching this could debate me to, to, till they're blue in the face, but Major League, the original, is where like I, I make most of my bones with my baseball movie knowledge. And <laughs> I was actually at the 1997 World Series with NBC when I worked for them. And I was standing in the bowels of Pro Player Stadium at the time. And I was watching the Giants and Bengals. It was a Sunday around one, one o'clock. They had just kicked off maybe eight minutes into the first quarter. And I feel somebody on my left-hand side. And I hear the voice, because I'm intent on watching my Giants. So I hear the voice saying, the Giants winning? And I was like, wait a minute, that's Bob Euchre. And he was calling the games with Bob Costas and Joe Morgan. So I knew, I have this innate ability to know a voice. I mean, if you play me a soundbite of a voice, I know it. So I knew it was Euchre. So I turned, and it was like a 12-year-old child going, Euchre! And that's exactly what I did. And I was so embarrassed by just saying that. But we proceeded, Nancy, to stand and watch the Giants and Bengals for the next 20 minutes while both of us did lines from Major League. It was a true out-of-body experience. Plus, before he left, he said, hey, Chris, I got to get out of here. I said, can you do me one huge favor? My mother loves you. She still has my business card when I worked for MSNBC, and it was signed to Carol just a bit outside Bob Euchre. So that's one of my favorite baseball stories, one of my favorite baseball movies, with one of my favorite, not only actors, players, uh, Miller Lite commercial person, <laughs> Bob Euchre. I mean, it was just, it was the culmination of watching this guy my entire life and then getting to spend 20 precious minutes with him was fantastic. 
for us. That's great. What a great story. Yeah, yeah. So Bob, I know there's so many in your head. Do you have favorite movie quotes? Favorite movie quotes? Well, I don't want to bring it down, but I'll try to keep it positive at the same time. But I turn into an absolute puddle to this day when uh, Ray Kinsella asks his father to have a catch in Field of Dreams. And everybody asks me why, and everybody has their problems with Field of Dreams because Shoeless Joe Jackson was lefty and Ray Liotta batted righty in the movie. I remember Chris Mad Dog Russo went up one side of that movie and down the other. If you could just stop with the technical aspects of everything and it just- It wasn't take, a documentary, right? Just take it for what it is. I mean, it's a baseball movie. It's a, it's a son trying to reconnect with his father. That is one of the reasons those of us that love this game is because it does become fabric in our lives. It, it's an everyday thing. It bonded me with my father as well. And I too have memories about Field of Dreams. So many impactful moments. And it's interesting what parts hook different people. And for me, the line was, if you build it, he will come. Because that's a metaphor of life, really. Absolutely. And you know, I didn't know this until maybe about a week ago, but the, the actor who plays uh, Kevin Costner's father, uh, his father actually died the week before they filmed that scene. So you could imagine what that was like for him filming that scene a week after his own father passed away. So that to me, even makes that scene even more powerful than it was before. So I don't know uh, how soon I could watch that movie again. I mean, I did put myself through it. Uh, my father passed in November. I did put myself through it maybe a month after that, just so I could see how I would react. And as you can imagine, I was a puddle. <laughs> but it's 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 not it's not a sad puddle. It's it's a cathartic it's a cathartic puddle because it brings back great memories of my dad. One hundred percent. I totally understand that. So let's end on a positive. A funny line from a movie. Funny line from a movie. Okay. Um, there's so many. Uh, the Sandlot. The Sandlot brings so many to to, to mention. But I, I got to go back uh, to Major League. Bull Durham, Major League. I'll give you one from Bull Durham. I'll give you one from Major League. Okay. The, the one from Bull Durham is when. The manager goes in and talks to Kevin Costner and says, I don't know what we're going to do. You know, we stink. I'm just paraphrasing here, of course. And Kevin Costner says, they're kids. Scare them. And <laughs> he takes a bunch of bats and he goes into the shower. He throws the wooden bats all into the shower. And he goes, everybody be it, better be into this shower in 10 seconds, Larry. And, and Larry starts counting back from 10. And it, I mean, I'm just, I'm dying laughing as I'm thinking about this and as I watch it every time. But it's the whole lollygag thing. You guys lollygag around, you, you lollygag in and out of the dugout. You lollygag your way down the first. You lollygag. And what does that make you, Larry? Lollygaggers. What's our record, Larry? Eight and 16. Eight and 16. How did we ever win eight? It's a miracle. It's a miracle. So there's the one from Bull Durham. And Major League, it's funny because. I told you, the golf course does not happen without lines from Major League. My cousin, maybe two weeks ago, texts me, he goes, right now, uh, AMC, Major League. So I went right to it. And every scene, Nancy, has a quotable line. Every, every damn scene has a quotable line. You cannot go a scene without it, whether it's Hats for Bats with Serrano whether it's uh, the byplay between Roger Dorn and the manager uh, when uh, they, they're sitting around the conference table figuring out who to bring in, and, and one of the guys says, this guy is dead, and the owner says, well, cross him off then. And I don't want to – I know we're pressed for time, but anything Euchre said, and it goes back to that story with him sitting there at Pro Player Stadium, and he said to me, Chris, there were so many lines that hit the cutting room floor that you, you never even know about. I asked him to give me a couple. I cannot say them on this Zoom cast right now, but let me just tell you, they were funny and they could have been added in there. He asked me what my favorite one was. I also can't say that either on this Zoom cast because we got to keep it going. Okay, two of the most quotable movies ever, Major League and also Caddyshack, right? Okay. Let's oh, Caddyshack, Bull Durham. Don't get me started on Caddyshack. We'll be here forever. Our time is done. We could go on, but I love visiting with you. Great to see you, teammate. 
See you, you soon. You too, Nancy. Stay safe.